Welcome to this video tutorial of how to install key metrics on most PBXs that are based on free PBX like Elastix, Asterisk Now, Trixbox Community Edition and PBX in a Flash. In order to save some time we already configured our um, PBX that in, in this case is, a, is an Elastix system and we already have root access to it using uh, an SSH, SSH access. So. Uh, to start the installation what we do is we go here to the installation guide and we install the repository that is going to be used for the for the downloads of key metrics like this okay the down the repository was installed what we do now is simply we install a package called key metrics espresso quindi yum install Qmetrix Espresso. This was, uh, will install Qmetrix uh, together with uh, most uh, with the, the Qloader, so that uh, you already have the uh, database storage that is quicker. And uh, we'll install uh, also um, we'll preconfigure your system so that it's uh, ready to run from the, the the very moment that you start using it. Sorry, we did a mistake, so it's Qmetrix Espresso. It's like this. As you see, this is going to install uh, a number of packages uh, with their own distributions and, uh, and such, so that uh, everything basically is uh, already set up. We say yes, so we want to install this. It's about 100 megs of uh, download space. The download phase took like uh, three or four minutes to uh, to do. Now it is installing uh, automatically. It's going to install the packages, and uh, it's going to take uh, a few minutes. Mostly Java is uh, is the slowest package to install. At some point in the installation, it will say press enter to continue, but there is it will continue automatically, so uh, no problem with that. Then the other packages are going to be installed. They yeah, will take a few seconds. Now Qmetrix is starting. but it will take uh, a few more seconds to, to do the complete installation. Now it is creating the database. It understood that is uh, on Elastix, so basically now it's restarting Qmetrics. And now it says configuration completed successfully. This means that everything went fine. Now if we enter the address of the server here, port 88 slash Qmetrics, it's going to lead you to the license agreement that you should of course read and accept in case you want to use uh, to use Qmetrix. Click twice. Then you can log on, you can change the language to the one that uh, suits you best. You can log on as demo admin password demo. Okay, this is uh, the Qmetrix basically is configured here. What we do, the second thing that we have to do is to check the license information. When you install Qmetrix, basically, there is a, a demo license installed that is just for two users. We suggest, in order to run a, a test that is meaningful, to get a, a free demo key. You can get it from our website, uh, from the home page. Click here, request a temporary key. You basically enter uh, your data, your company name and such, and you send a request and you're going to get uh, a demo key back by email. The, the demo key, the, the email looks like this. The email here contains uh, 
a row that is all made of numbers. This is the actual license key. You can go here, copy, you go to key metrics, install a new license key, and you paste it here. After pasting the key, you click on run, and it will say that the license key was installed successfully. Please log off, log on, log off, and on again. Uh, in some cases, uh, the, the 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 page may go blank, and you just basically reload, so that the the new key is installed. So what we do is that we log off, and on again. Go back to English. Demo admin. Demo. So if we check the license information, we see that th th there is a new key that is uh, that will last one month, and this means that everything went fine. So in order to to we already configured on the on the FPBX, uh, we configured two queues that are called three o one and three o two. You can basically set up uh, the system. Uh, Running a wizard so that the information from the from the um, PBX is loaded automatically in QMetrics. So you go here, set up wizard from file. This is fine usually. So in this case, we have just two queues that are called uh, 300 and 301. Next, uh, yes, uh, we want to add both queues to our QMetrics. Okay, now if we go to the to the edit queues page, we're going to see that we have our queues 300 and 301. If it's uh, handy to create a queue that is called 00 old, that basically means uh, all together monitor all queues together. So we, we enter them here 300 pipe 301. Okay. Then we have to create agents um, agents uh, are uh, the people that uh, that are working uh, on the system. Um, so if you have a person from uh, that works on the queue from extension 200, we have to create a queue that agent as agent 200. So we create new, we enter the agent code agent 200. Always written like this: agent slash 200. The agent description: uh, agent name, for example, John Doe. I don't know John Doe. The agent location, everything else, we, we don't care at the moment. You see there are quite a lot of things in Keymetrics. And then if we want that if we want that agent to be able to to log on as well, we go to configure users, create new. We uh, the login will be again agent two hundred. The password uh, I don't know you choose uh, which one you like best. The real name, so John Do. It's enabled, yes, because we want it to be used. The email, you can enter it if you want. No master key. And uh, as class, you enter agents. This means uh, that uh, this agent can log on. So, in this case, uh, we go back. Okay, as you can see, agent 200 is now a user that is enabled. Okay. So, uh, now we can, uh, if we have something uh, for uh, here, we don't we don't see much. But uh, if we want to see the status of our system, we basically select uh, zero zero all or one of the queues, uh, one of our queues, and we, we click on start real time monitoring. Here, if we had agents or uh, or anything else, uh, they would appear here. We can check the live status of our system by clicking here. So in this case, uh, there are two queues, 300 and 301, and it says that the, the, the system is working fine because it's answering. You can send broadcast messages to your agents by clicking here. Consider always that the first time you click on a page in Qmetrics, it's a bit slower because it has to compile it. See, from here, you could send a message, uh, hi all for everyone, for example, and this would appear on all the agents' pages. So, 
uh, when uh, we, if we want to run a report of uh, what happened, we could run a quick activity report for today, for example. And in this case, it's all empty because we have no data. But uh, here, there are all the pages. There are a lot of information that you have on uh, everything that you can measure on uh, your system. Then, if we go back, we can run a custom report. This allows for filtering, very strong filtering criteria. You see there are quite a lot of them that you can use to pinpoint an exact set of calls that you need for some reason. And uh, again, as we created the agent as agent 200, we can log on as an agent and see the agent's page. So again, English. For, so we log on as agent 200, the password we used before. You, as you can see, an agent has a different view of the system, so that you only can see inbound calls, basically. You can see here, you can uh, log on uh, agents by clicking on Add Member. You can enter the agent code and uh, the queues they need to work on. In, uh, in this case, uh, yours are 300 and 301, so you could uh, as well remove uh, these other ones. And when you're logged on, you can pause and you can unpause, you can do everything else. And, uh, uh, when you get calls, uh, you're going to see them here. So they, you have to reload when you receive a call, and you're going to see the call appearing here. So this is uh, basically this means that everything is working, and uh, the basic functionalities are here. There is also a written tutorial that explains this in quite a bit of more of detail, and uh, that you can check for reference on this video. Thanks for watching.